Ang topic natin today is about the laws of thermodynamics. Well, of course, this is still a part of our thermodynamics course under our engineering category. So first, pag-usapan muna natin kung ano ba tong tinatawag nating laws of thermodynamics. The laws of thermodynamics helps us understand why energy flows in a certain direction and in a certain ways. Well, we have four laws of thermodynamics. And on this video, we're going to have an overview for these four laws of thermodynamics. And of course, as we go on in our course on thermodynamics, mapapag-aralan natin ito isa't isa in details. But for now, pag-usapan natin kung ano ba itong tinatawag nating mga laws of thermodynamics. Well, first we have the first law of thermodynamics, which is the law of conservation of energy. And next to that is what we call the second law of thermodynamics, and it states that the entropy of the universe is always increasing. The third law of thermodynamics is about the entropy of perfect crystals. And then later on, the fourth law of thermodynamics has been established, which states that if two bodies are each in thermal equilibrium with some third body, then they are also in equilibrium with each other. However, nagkaroon ng dilemma tungkol sa subject na to, because the fourth law that we can see here is actually the base or the fundamental of the first three thermodynamics law. Which means that this fourth law of thermodynamics should come first before yung tinatawag nating first law of thermodynamics. However, during that time, sikat na yung first law, second law, and third law of thermodynamics. So we cannot easily change the first law of thermodynamics by the fourth law that we have seen right now. So the decision came that the fourth law of thermodynamics will be called as the zeroth law of thermodynamics. Because this should actually come first before yung tinatawag nating the first law of thermodynamics. Okay, so ngayon magbibigay tayo ng overview sa mga laws of thermodynamics na ating pinakita ngayon. Simulan natin sa zeroth law of thermodynamics. It is Ralph H. Fowler, a British physicist, who first formulated and labeled the zeroth law of thermodynamics. The zeroth law of thermodynamics states that if two systems are in thermodynamic equilibrium with the third system, the two original system are in thermal equilibrium with each other. So, ano bang ibig sabihin niyan? Let's say meron tayong three bodies, A, B, and C. And then we stated that our body A is in thermodynamic equilibrium with our body B. So, that means they are in thermal equilibrium. But our body A is also in thermodynamic equilibrium with our body C. So they are also in thermal equilibrium. If A is in thermodynamic equilibrium with B, and A is also thermodynamic equilibrium with C, so that means our B is also thermodynamic equilibrium with C. Well, if we are going to put this mathematically in algebra, if A is equal to B, and A is also equal to C, Therefore, B is equal to C. So, let's say we have three glasses of water here, and if glass A is in thermal equilibrium with B, and B is in thermal equilibrium with C, that means itong ating A is also in thermal equilibrium with our glass of water in C. Okay, so moving on, let us discuss about the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics is the law of conservation of energy. It means that energy is not created nor destroyed. It only changes forms. For example, it can change from potential energy to kinetic energy or heat energy and so on. So have a look at this example. Now we have a wind turbine converts kinetic energy in the wind into mechanical energy and then later on into an electrical energy. So this is an example of the first law of thermodynamics. Well, we are going to discuss more about the first law of thermodynamics later on as we go on our thermodynamics course. And now let us discuss about the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of the universe is always increasing. Well, medyo komplikado kapag pinag-uusapan na yung entropy. Well, the easiest way to remember it is that it is the degree of disorder. Well, within the system, there is also a tendency to go towards a higher entropy. So, ang pinakamadaling analogy na ginagamit dito is your bedroom. So, your bedroom may over time becomes messy but will never suddenly becomes neat. So, katulad ng sinasabi natin, yung entropy of the universe is always increasing. So, for example, we have a clean bedroom 
well, it is very easy for it to be messy or to be disordered. But if you have a messy or disordered bedroom, hindi yan isang iglap lang magiging malinis na or tidy or ordered. Okay, let's say we have a cup of coffee. Heat will flow from hot coffee cup to the table or your hand because the heat energy will be more disordered if more dispersed. And this is why heat spontaneously flow from hot to cold and not the other way around. So it is actually the second law of thermodynamics that explains kung bakit ang flow ng ating heat is from the body of a higher temperature to a body of lower temperature. And now let's go to the third law of thermodynamics which is the entropy of perfect crystals. A perfectly crystalline solid at absolute zero has an entropy of zero. Well, this is the most ordered state a substance can be in. Yung third law of thermodynamics defines the, what is absolute zero and it ties together the concept of entropy and temperature. So, mas napapag-usapan dito sa third law of thermodynamics yung tinatawag nating absolute zero. So, to have an idea about that, well, this is what we call the boomerang nebula. Well, the boomerang nebula is the coldest natural place currently known in the universe. The nebula's temperature is measured at 1 Kelvin or negative 272.15 degrees Celsius or negative 457.87 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is only 1 degree Celsius above the absolute zero. Well, here on Earth, we are able to achieve low temperatures like that by using devices like lasers. But it is important to note that absolute zero may not be able to achieve experimentally dito sa Earth. Well, one of the reasons is the second law of thermodynamics which states that heat will spontaneously move from warmer body to a colder body. So, the object that you are trying to cool to absolute zero will be taking in heat from the surrounding. But in spite of this limitation, yung concept ng absolute zero is very important in our studies in thermodynamics and physical chemistry and other branches of engineering. Well, as we go on our courses, we will be discussing more about these laws of thermodynamics. But for now, this will be the end of our video and thank you for watching. We would like to ask for your support by subscribing to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na pinopost namin. We would like to ask for your support as well to please register sa aming website www.engineers.org. It is a community for Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much and have a nice day.